Hi and welcome to this new video about Obsidian. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can automatically move your notes around inside of Obsidian. So by default, uh, inside of Obsidian, you can create uh, folders to organize your notes. So in this example, I'm using the Obsidian Starter Kit. Uh, inside of the structure of the Starter Kit, I have decided to create a number of folders. So we have uh, folders for the journal, we have folders for fleeting notes, literature notes, permanent notes. So basically, Zettelkasten system. Uh, maps of content, contacts, etc. Uh, it's, it's a really light uh, organization system, so it's not too complicated. There are not too many nested folders, but in any case, it does take some time to organize the nodes inside of the structure. Uh, the thing is that it's not time that you want to spend. You instead want to spend your time uh, writing your notes, linking notes together, and basically accumulating and uh, creating uh, an, a valuable knowledge base for yourself. Instead of moving your notes manually, what you can do is use a community plugin called the AutoNote Mover plugin. Uh, I'm going to show you how it works, how you can install it first, and then how to configure it so that your notes get moved where they belong automatically without any manual step. So first you have to go to the settings screen, then the community plugins, and you need to click on browse so that you can find new plugins to install. If you cannot do this, then it might mean that you are still using the restricted mode. So the restricted mode should be disabled. You can see that it is the case because I can turn it back on. This is not something that I want. I want to keep it disabled. The reason for that is that otherwise it's just impossible to use the plugins. Now that it's been installed, I need to make sure that it's enabled. Once it's enabled, you can see that I get uh, one more options panel inside of here for the AutoNote Mover. To show this to you, what I'm going to do is create a new node uh, inside of the vault that we are going to call uh, para method. Let's imagine that we want to write something about para. As you can see, it was just created inside of the root because I did not choose the location. What I could have done is gone into the areas, the permanent nodes, the content, right click there and click on new node. As you can see, it's quite involved if you want to organize your notes. Uh, this way it takes time and it's not time that I want to spend because it's just fiddling around I, and I could make mistake. I could have created in the wrong folder and then would have had to move it around. Instead, what I can do is just create it at the root like I did and then drag and drop it inside of the correct folder. But again, this is too much and I don't want to do this. So instead, what I'm going to do is use a template for permanent nodes that is part of the Obsidian Starter Kit. It's not something that you need, but it's just for the sake of the example. As you can see, it's just basically the same node. But in this case, with the uh, 1.4 release of Obsidian that just came out, I do have those properties on top. Uh, and you can see that inside of the tags, I have added one tag uh, that is called permanent nodes. So this is how the system is going to recognize that this is a permanent node and that it should move to uh, the appropriate folder inside of the structure, which is this one. But as you can see, for now, nothing happens. And the reason for that is that we did not configure the AutoNode Mover plugin. Let's go back to the settings. And as you can see, you have different parts here. First is the trigger. So it's uh, either automatic or manual. I uh, recommend to keep it on automatic so that we don't have to perform a manual operation to move the notes around. And then there is this uh, rules section. For now there is a single rule, but you can see that it's empty. So basically the rules are, uh, the, the, the way they work is like this. So you first choose a target folder. So this is where the notes should move when the, the, the trigger uh, detects that a, move, uh, a note should be moved. So in this case, we are going to create a rule for permanent notes as part of the, the Zettelkasten system. And we want to place those inside of the areas, permanent nodes, and inside of the content folder. So this is where the nodes will move. But how, why should they be recognized or how? In this case, I'm going to use a tag rule, but I could also use a regular expression. So in this case, we are going to look for the permanent nodes tag. Uh, from now on, as soon as a node contains the tag permanent nodes, that node will be moved over there. And that's about it. You can also add exclusion folders and uh, add other uh, configuration, but it's not needed in this case. And we are just going to showcase that it now works. So the node is still at the root at this point. I'm just going to touch it, make a small change, click on save. And normally my node should be moved automatically. As you can see, it has just 
moved away from the root folder and is now located where it belongs inside of this permanent nodes content folder. As you can see, it's not so complicated. Uh, it's a real gain of time. Uh, once you do this with multiple uh, folders and tags and rules, uh, combining all this, meaning that all your nodes will be moved where they belong automatically without any manual action. We can take one more example if you want for the contacts. So we are going to place the contacts also in the areas inside of the contacts folder. And in that case, the tag is contact. Now, if I create a new node for a contact, let's say that I'm going to create a contact called Tiago Forte, uh, we are going to use the contact template that is also part of the start kit. Again, you can see that there is a tag that is being uh, added automatically called uh, contact. And my node was automatically moved since we did enable that rule and now the contact is located where it belongs. So that's what I wanted to show in this video. I hope that it will be useful to you, that it will enable you to organize your nodes the way you want, automatically without manual actions, so that you can focus on what really matters which is creating your notes, writing things down, making links between ideas, and basically creating a more valuable uh, knowledge base. That's it for today. See you later.